Wakey wakey Well, isn't that just the most horrendous slash embarrassing noise that a car can possibly make? I think it is. So that's what I'm going to be fixing today. I'm going to be replacing the power steering belt and I'm going to be replacing the alternator belt as well. Um, I'm not sure which one of it is making the noise, but I thought I'd just replace them both anyway because they're quite cheap. What I'm going to be doing is fairly specific to an MX-5 NB, but um, obviously for other MX-5s it's going to be similar. Um, and for other cars it's going to might be a similar sort of operation but um, if you have got an MX-5 MB and you're going to be doing this you might also have an air conditioning pump which runs with another belt so I'm just going to be doing alternator and power steering but um, you may have another belt if you've got air con to run that but the process should be pretty similar so that's what I'm going to crack on with now I'm going to get over to the driveway and get started I might even give the car a little service as well so let's get over to the driveway and crack on okay so we're out here at the MX-5 and I've got myself a new alternator belt and a new power steering belt um, here are mine and as you can see this one has got some weird whiteness um, and a bit of brown into the underside, so uh, there's definitely a, obviously there's, there's definitely a squeak going on. So I'm going to replace both of these belts. The alternator belt looks pretty new, actually. I might have even ended up getting that when I replaced the alternator last year. But um, I've got both the belts, so I may as well put both of them on and then tighten them up and tension them. See if I can get rid of that squeal. So alternator side. I just undid this bolt here to give myself about an inch and then I undid this bolt here and uh, luckily because I replaced the alternator last year they're quite uh, loose, they weren't too bound on so then that gives a bit of backwards and forwards play on the alternator like that um, if you can't push it enough t this way then you need to undo this bolt a little bit more and give yourself a bit more room to go that way and when you tighten it up obviously you get it to the right tightness do this bolt up and then that will hold it and stop it from getting any closer. Power steering pump side, um, same kind of setup, you've got a bolt here and a bolt here for adjustment. When they're loose you also need to undo a bolt, not this one here but a similar bolt to that which is actually behind this pulley. Um, there are a couple of little holes cut in the pulley so that you can get a socket in there except of course with my luck the way that this is stopped I can't quite get the socket through the gap to get onto the bolt nicely so I'm just gonna have to crank the engine and see where it lands again yeah perfect um, other people on YouTube have said just undo this and undo this and you'll get enough adjustment to undo the belt but you don't so cut to the chase completely undo this bolt here The nuts at the front and then the bolt comes out at the back. Just lift, leave this hanging. Put this to one side. So now this is completely loose which gives you loads of adjustment there. Just push the whole thing down and uh, the belt will come off. Okay, so that's one, and then with the alternator, it does actually give you enough adjustment, I find, by undoing the bolt and just pushing the alternator forwards, and then that belt there will come off, he says. A bit further, a bit back the bolt off a little bit more, push it forward again. And it's just about at the limit, but you can ease the belt off. There we go. There we go. Now, it's always a good idea to compare your belts, your old one, with your new one to make sure they're exactly the same size. Your new one's going to be a bit stiffer, so uh, you kind of have to put them together like that, and you can see that they're the same. First one is the alternator, so it goes over the alternator 
round the back big pulley, the front of the engine, the bottom. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it over the pulleys first, alternator last. Okay, it's a bit of a faff, but uh, we're in. So I'm just making sure that the grooves are all in nicely, even at the bottom, and it's not overhanging. Okay, so I know that's all good and that's in. So now I'm going to tighten down the alternator. By screwing, holding it tight and then screwing in that bolt. Okay, that's going to hold that where it is, which is already fairly tight actually, but I'm going to adjust that and tighten that up a bit more. Ready to do the next belt now. Right now, same with the other belt. Right, new belts are on, just need to tighten them up now. So now by pulling this up, I've now tightened that belt up. Again, I'm going to put this bolt back in, adjust it. Okay, I've pulled it up as high as I can go. And as you can see, I can't quite get it to the bolt hole. The belt is tight enough at this point. So, what am I going to do about this? There's a bolt here, another 13 mil, I think, and I'm just going to undo that, and that will allow me to adjust this angle here, so then I'll be able to get the bolt in and then have a bit more tightening adjustability. I mean, the belt at where it is sitting at the moment, the belt is tight because I can barely twist it. Yeah, I'll get my other hand in there. If you can grab the belt and you can just about get it to twist, sort of, uh, what's that? 90 degrees, 45, 90 degrees I think. Um, if you can just about get it to twist 90 degrees with tension, I think that's about right. This might even be a little bit too tight, I don't know. Um, but I think that's good. So I'm gonna adjust the adjuster so that it will line up now. Okay, so now you can see that this plate here is loose. So I can pull this up tight in so that this will line up with that, then do this bolt up, and then I'll be all sorted. Okay, so now I've adjusted that adjuster plate to where I want it to be, so it lines up. This is as tight as I could get it with my hand, and uh, I'm just gonna put this bolt back in. Tighten that up. Just so it's still loose still, but fairly tight. Um, and then I'm gonna do this up. Okay, and at that point now, I'm gonna tighten this back up. Okay, so now that's left to tighten is the bolt that we had to uh, start the engine a little bit just to get to there, which is now in a different place because I've adjusted this. But because everything else is tight, I could crank the engine again after I've done the alternator, obviously, um, to, to get it lined up. But there's also a bolt on the back here, which is the same bolt, you know, this goes through there, the nuts at the back. So I'm going to try tightening that one at the back.
Is it not a 13? It was a fucking 13. Oh, it's a 14, of course. Okay, so thinking about it now, don't even bother trying to uh, crank the engine to get to that bolt there because you can just back it off from the back here and, uh, and that should loosen it up enough for you to, to uh, be able to manoeuvre it. So um, yeah, I think I've just discovered an easier way to do it. Okay, so that's tight, that's tight, that's tight. Belt is tight but slightly more slightly reliable pliable slightly pliable <laughs> to a twist so now I've got to tighten up the alternator Okay, I think that's about right. So now I'm going to tighten down this front bolt. Okay, right, so that's all attached, so time to start her up and see if, uh, if we've done it correctly. But one final inspection seems to see that everything's all tight and everything's all on so fingers crossed I figured whilst I was out and uh, all this stuff was out from doing the van the other day that I thought I might as well do a quick oil change. It's been a few uh, few thousand miles. It's pretty black. So yeah, just got this bad boy pumping that out. Got a genuine Mazda filter to go back in. Also got some spark plugs, so I'm going to be doing those too. Just waiting for the oil to drain. Managed to get my hand in and under there, and uh, just with a bit of hand pressure, managed to undo the uh, oil filter a little bit. So that's just cracked just a touch. I'll pull that out once most of the oil's out. Okay, so I've just oiled up the new oil filter, put some new oil inside it. With a dry glove is the easiest way to do them up by hand. Okay, I think that's as tight as I'm going to get it.
Okay, so that's the uh, oil changed and the oil filter changed. Um, I've got a set of spark plugs laying around that I bought a while ago, so I'm going to change these spark plugs as well while I'm at it. There's some weird shit around the uh, around the outside of that spark plug. So I don't know, they don't look too bad, but who knows? Chuck them away. Now I got my spark plug specifically for my car from MX5 parts, so they should be gapped to the right gap. I'm just checking them. They should be between one mil. 1.1 so I've got one mil here and that looks fine yeah definitely some weird crust on the outside edge. That's not good. Well, it's a couple of days after the last clip that you just saw and uh, I'm only just getting a chance to take the MX-5 out for a little test drive after doing that mini service and changing those belts and uh, I have to say this morning damp, cloudy, cold uh, would normally be prime time for the belts to start squealing uh, but started right up without a single noise, not even a chirp had all the lights, the fans on, everything. So I think that's sorted that, certainly for the time being. So anyway, I hope that this video has helped you out if you're gonna be changing the auxiliary belts on an MX-5. There's other videos out there on YouTube, but um, I thought I'd throw mine in as well. So I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I will catch you on the next one.